when will these black Republicans learn that they can't do what Donald Trump does? Y'all remember her? Hold on. Remember her now? Yeah, y'all, that's the same person. That is Travion Cuddy. She is Donald Trump's co-defendant. Mm -hmm. She's also being charged with RICO down here in Georgia. Here's why. We begin here at 6 with the case against Donald Trump. Tonight, a Chicago woman indicted alongside the former president. She's among 19 people criminally charged for their tactics to overturn the election results in Georgia. Her name? Trevian Cootie, a Chicago publicist with close ties to A-list musicians. CBS 2's Charlie Damar is live in the newsroom with what he's learning about Cootie. Charlie. And Joe and Erica, along with being the former publicist to stars like Kanye West and R. Kelly, Trevian Cootie used to run a fancy Gold Coast, Coast clothing store, but now she's at the center of a federal racketeering case stemming from the 2020 election. Now, the body camera video you're about to see was taken inside a Georgia police station after Cootie showed up unannounced to election workers house do you know how it feels to have the president of the united states to target you ruby freeman testified on capitol hill after former president donald trump <laughs> falsely accused her of committing election fraud following his 2020 defeat freeman a volunteer election worker in georgia received threats now chicago-based publicist trevian cootie is accused of trying to pressure freedman into making a false confession Stephen Block is a former federal prosecutor. He says it's unlikely all 19 defendants will go to trial and expects some to begin cooperating with the government. And I think when you get further down that list of 19 towards the bottom where Ms. Cootie is, those are the people who oftentimes uh, do decide to cooperate. Cootie has been in legal trouble before. In 2014, she threatened and falsely accused a Nordstrom employee of stealing her designer necklace. A restraining order was placed against Cootie. I'm taking full responsibility. In 2003, Cootie made headlines after she designed a controversial window display at her high-end Oak Street boutique that has since closed. Now, the professional crisis manager finds herself in the middle of a mounting legal crisis. Now, campaign finance records show that Cootie previously donated to prominent Democratic candidates like Hillary Clinton in 2007. Now, we did reach out to Cootie for a comment, but we have yet to hear back. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Joe, Erica. Charlie, thank you. Dang, she has a history of threatening people, trying to intimidate people to get whatever it is that she wants. Remember, the conditions of her bond include not intimidating or threatening witnesses, the same as Donald Trump. Now, with all the trash that Donald Trump is out there talking about those other judges in his other case, have you noticed that he ain't talking a whole lot of shit about witnesses in this case or the judge in this case? Every now and then he'll go after Fannie Willis, but yeah, it's not a continuous thing like he's doing to that judge in New York and the judge in Washington. Because for all the defendants, including Donald Trump in this case, that is a part of their bond agreement. No intimidating the witnesses and no threatening the judge, the, the DA, and the witnesses. Well, I guess she looks at Donald Trump and all of the things that he is saying and getting away with out there on social media. And she said to herself, well, if he can do it, I can do it too. Because this is what she said in a live the other day. Can't kill Trump when his entire base is a militia. You can't do it. Negro, your mama's fingerprints are on on, on it too. Look, okay? I, I just, I, I, I want to respect 
black people and black men, but when you come over here and you act crazy and you talk crazy to me, you're going to be, you're, you'll be outdone, okay? You'll be outdone. Everybody's alive. There's no murder weapon. As a matter of fact, there's a woman sitting somewhere who knows this whole thing is a lie. Who knows I never did anything to her. Who knows I never, who knows she begged me for help. There's a woman sitting somewhere who knows that I'm going to fuck her whole life up when this is done. It is on video. That's the best thing. But you got a cut and paste video. Okay? So that's amazing that it is on. That's the best thing about it. It's on video. In a police. She mad, y'all. She goes live and maybe she's talking about the case some kind of way, but not really. You know what I'm saying? And one of the commenters down in the chat put a comment that said your fingerprints are all over the murder weapon and you know it's it's basically saying that girl they got you on video they know what it is that you said they know what it is that you did da -da 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 -da. and so you know that's when she said negro please and i'll be trying to respect black people girl you talk like you not black <laughs> you black you got a you got a criminal history to prove that you black. <laughs> and you got a criminal history to prove that you are not far removed from threatening people and intimidating people. You were talking about Ruby Freeman and you was trying to underhanded threaten and intimidate her on your life. But people know who you're talking about. People know that one plus one is two. People know how to connect the dots. And that's why they started dragging you over on Twitter and tagging <laughs> Fannie Willis. Here's two posts. I picked two of the most, the more serious posts. This is not even a close call. This whole rant by Trevion, I've been calling her Cuddy, but I guess it's Cootie is a case study in witness intimidation and obstruction. All prosecutors in these election subversion cases must give no quarter when it comes to these antics and fully and swiftly enforce the law and the bond terms. Girl, these people not playing with you. These people not playing with you. And you are no Donald Trump. Your skin tone proves it. One of my favorites, Cheryl Ifield, tweeted this. Former publicist for Kanye and R. Kelly talking crazy about what she's going to do to Ruby Freeman. No, at Fonny for DA has to be all over this. Shea Moss and Ruby Freeman have been through enough. And the consent order for Trevion's bond could not be clearer. Listen, Trevion, your best bet is to not talk publicly about the case okay because uh mostly the black community we are standing in support of shea moss and ruby freeman we are not standing in support of you who stands in support of a racist dictating demagogue girl you picked the wrong team mm -hmm. and we all gonna sit here and watch you suffer the consequences Fonnie Willis ain't playing. I am I am now on on um bond revoke watch for you. I'll see y'all later. Let me know your thoughts.